Okay, you guys ready? Uh, 2750 tank, this is for Maddie here. This looks like it's Reinhardt on uh, Volskaya. Let's go. Nice. Am I in the right point of view here? Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm your shield. You're not going to get too much um, ultimate from fire striking up there. You made him white's bubble though, so we take that. Dude, aggro, let's go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're going to go back here. That guy post. What's up, dude? Thank you for the follow. Okay. So, so far you've done everything right. Uh, you're walking on the enemy. That's basically what you want to do. You just want a huge anti coming in from your from Daniel here on the red team. Uh, basically just completely destroyed the enemy. What's Reinhardt. Oh, what's up, Kairopi? Delicious. Thank you for the follow, dude. I think, I think, wait, wait. Are you number 1500, Kairopi? Let me check. You may be 1500. Oh, we need like, we need like 15 more. I was off by quite a few. All right. Anyway, um, where was I? Okay, so you walked on the Reinhardt, you swung him down, you did everything you needed to do right there. Nicely done. You crushed him, you took space. I really like what you do here that you push onto the point and you try to take more space. The enemy team fans out and that's really good for you. They're playing this wrong. Um, what you want to do for your Reinhardt here, I'll, I will actually show you. What's up, Necra? Where'd all these new guys come from? Where'd you guys come from? Thank you guys for the follow. Okay, check this out. Check that. Okay, hold up. We got these little red indicators on the screen. Oh, they're going to be there. <laughs> okay, what is going on? Did someone post about me on Reddit? What is happening? I crave noodles. What kind of noodles, dude? I could go for some soba right now. I don't know about you, but soba's damn good. Okay, check this out. So look at this. So you've done everything right. You own this entire space. Now what do you do? Now what do you do, right? This guy walks this way. These guys walk that way. I think this guy stays in here. Maybe one goes out there. They just fan out. What do you do? What do you do? Oh, what's up, post? Uh, okay, okay. Double follow. Thank you, dude. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. So you're trying to figure out what you do. Uh, think about what space you yourself want to control, how you want to set this up for your team so that they can actually get these kills for you. So what do you do? What you end up doing is you walk in right here and then you back up because you realize, hey, my team's not with me, which is smart. Very smart. You you actually, you you realize that you're, you've totally LOS'd your healers, right? They can't heal you right there. So you've backed up. Smart stuff. You, so you play this right. But the two spaces that you want to control here to control these guys is you want to you want to come in this way. You want to come in here. You want to take the mega. That also opens up high ground, right? As you take mega, your team can filter in and control high ground. And then you literally just push them right there from low ground while your team takes high ground and shoves on them. And their team can also wrap around here and hit them from that side. Once you own that high ground and you've owned the entrance by clearing out Tomcats in here and owning this mega, once you own this space, you control high ground, you control point, and it's shooting fish in a barrel from there. So that's what you do as Reinhardt, okay? You want to walk in and you want to shield right here. You don't have to really touch the point. You want to shield enough so that your team can feel comfortable coming in here. And then you join them. And then you back up and then you shield here. And you walk in. And then once they go up high ground, two prong attack. That's what you do here. Um, how do you defeat this as the blue team? What do you do? How do you stop this? Generally, red team, generally what you're supposed to do over here is you're actually supposed to come here. You're supposed to do this. This is what you're supposed to do. That's how you play this technically is you take the right door and then you go in through the hallway, you push high ground, you shove them down 
and then you wrap around on high ground and then you crush them on the point. That's generally what you're supposed to do. As the blue team, uh, you have to fight in here. This is where you do. This is where you fight inside. But for here, for now, is the blue team, if you just play mobile and you rotate, counter rotate around, flush them out, right? Pursue this thing. I should just, this should be blue. Come around here on the side, come back up and just flush, flush. Just keep kind of rotating, keep kind of rotating. Over rotate. If you rotate over their rotation, they're not gonna, like most teams until about 4,400 aren't going to rotate again. They do one rotation. Yeah, see, you notice, oh, I'm too far forward, you back up. Yeah, see right now, all you're doing is, all you're doing is controlling that corner of the point and they're just throwing damage at you in it from every direction. You wanna control that corner and then work your team into Mega. You wanna go into the Mega, where Olivia is. Nice. Uh, pretty much, Aku. I took each roll, the top 500, and wasn't too interested in competitive. I still play, but I don't play as much as I used to. But since I'm streaming full time, I want to see if I can get us back up there. What's up, Roman? What's up, my man? Yeah, you're dead here. Not much you can do there. You tried. Um. Yeah, I just wanted to see if I can get each roll to top 500, and then once I finally got support there, like, I didn't even see what my peak was. I literally, I played support for like two months, three months, dedicated myself to it for a couple of seasons. Got up to like 43 or something like that, and then... And then I started smurfing with friends exclusively for like nine months straight, and then now here I am. Okay, so you went main. You could go top here. Oh yeah, Roman? We'll take it, dude. It may we may watch it tomorrow. We have Jekaru for today. Okay, you want red box. They're Reinhardt so far up. Oh, big stoppage. Your backline got hammered. Yeah, they died. Um, don't jump when you hammer. Don't jump when you hammer. That, that's very costly. Uh, what you want to do there, since their Reinhardt is so far forward, he's playing on the red box. He's giving you opportunities to learn his swing tech. So walk into him, swing at him a couple times, see what he, how he responds to like one or two swings. Once he gets that fire strike going, start counting down in your head. Five seconds on the next fire strike, hammer. It is Aku. Nice. Okay, swing, 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 swing. Okay, this is this is a gladiatorial battle. Charge that, charge that! Oh, okay. Nice try, yeah, yeah. You got you got grabbed and you're just dead here. Yeah. You grab from behind. That's a really good Zarya spot. Uh, real quick guys, if you play Zarya, defense point two. Um, there are two spots that are really good for Zarya, and they're right here. You see you ready? Number one, number two. These are really good spots of defense, Zarya. Insanely good spots. High ground. Um, I can actually just show you why. We've actually watched and learned these. So if you play up here um, against like a dive or like a rush comp, if you play here, it gives you vision. It allows you to kill these guys up here. They can't really touch you because you can back up at any moment and your healers can heal you without being without taking any damage. So really good angles on the heals. You also have line of sight on everybody in the point, so you can bubble anyone at any given moment. Um, you can also get into the fight easily. It's also grab opportunities are abound here. Um, so high ground Zarya is really good, so this is really good. And then from low ground, this is A10. We learned this from A10. All he does is he sits right here, and he just right clicks this space. And he just right clicks it, and then people walk forward to deal with him. He just walks back, keeps right clicking. Once they walk up, he just goes back up and just sits right here, and just right clicks right here. That's like literally all he does. And he grabs whenever he wants. Okay, back to Reinhardt. Yeah, you got to promo me, dude. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I got into coaching. Aku, this channel's really new. We're, I, I guess maybe now we're not really new anymore. We just hit five months. I'm still kind of learning how to do this. But I, I do appreciate the support. Everything, really. Okay, so the mistake... What's, what's the mistake here? We haven't really like ne necessarily made any mistakes, but <laughs> look, at, look at this Ryan fight. The, the choice to go mid is not good. So this is a rule uh, I, I live by pretty much in this game and has served me well. Um, do not, so here, three, three options, right? Usually every choke point has three options in, in uh, Overwatch, okay? Every choke point has three options. So here are your three options. Watch, I'll just draw them for you. Okay, you got option one. Oh, you can't even see it, it's behind my portrait. <laughs> Hold up. Up and out, now you can see it, nice. Option one, option two, option three. So you've got uh, the moving platforms, mid and high ground. So far you guys have pushed number two, option two, three times. Uh, do not ever 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 do the same thing three times in a row in overwatch against any skill bracket doesn't matter effectively if you keep choosing main the enemy team is going to get better and better at killing you it doesn't matter how many ultimates you have they are going to get better and better at killing you you see how the first time you pushed main the enemy reinhardt was really aggressive and he played really close and you absolutely manhandled him you still lost the fight um but you absolutely manhandled him when he was close and now the next two fights that you've taken pushing mid the Reinhardt approaches you for, from further back. He starts further back, which makes you have to pull up your shield to actually get to him, which allows his team to put damage into your shield, which immediately puts you at an incredible disadvantage at the Ryan v. Ryan fight. You have no shield. Your health is weakened. Maybe the Ana behind you is already used a grenade. So approach the point in a different way. Don't ever do the same approach more than three times or more than twice in a row. Never, 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 never. And don't let ultimates... Um, convince you otherwise either it's a sunk cost fallacy dealio yeah there are really good right click zarya options here yeah so there you go same deal pushed mid they know how to deal with you now so it's not gonna work so let's see what you do with this one. Oh, wait do i get to flex the ban hammer What's the best path to take for this team? Uh, right at this moment, let's see, what are their ultimate percentages? With their ults, I would say top right, where this Hanzo is. High ground. Died without even getting to mid. That's rough, man. Yeah, don't even fight this, don't hammer. Just chill. Yeah, don't fight this, back up. No need to do damage, don't even throw fire strikes. Maddie, that's a mistake. You have ultimate, you're not going to be killing anyone with your fire strikes unless you have a window from Baptiste, right? So, you guys, this is a um, straight up a rule, hard and fast rule. If you're Reinhardt and you already have ultimate, do not fire strike people unless you know it's going to get a kill. What you want to do is you want to find Zarya and you want to aim above her head throw the fire strike above her head it's gonna make her she's gonna think that it's coming at her and she'll bubble and it won't even hit the bubble and she'll have wasted her resources usually the dps are the ones who go top left how do you go left you just ride the moving platforms usually dps go there if they have some kind of ultimate like mccree with dead eye or something you know so this should be top right instead of main that grab is not gonna do much. Uh oh. Uh oh. This fight's lost. Back up. Let everything. Let let all that crap. Uh. Okay. So yeah. There's a nanoed McCree above you, and you're also eating a full blown Moira ult. So you're eating a nano and a Moira ult at the same time. Dude, just back up and let that crap end. Don't even fight into it. Back up and just let it end. No need to fight into that. Moira's not too much of a threat. I'm not sure she, she deserves the hammer. Oh my god! 
Nice swing. That's a huge loss for their team. Good aggression. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't let this tracer just kill you. Okay, you're okay. Careful, don't walk on the McCree. Okay, okay. You're swinging, you're swinging. Keep that shield up. Shield up, shield up. Oh my god, there are people still in the grab with you. Okay. Yo, when you're in a grab, don't swing. <laughs> Definitely shield. You gotta protect those people behind you. Jump and look up, yeah. You jump at the McCree and you aim up with the right click. Very few McCrees will throw the flash underneath you. It's really hard. There we go. Swings and they swing and grabs. <laughs> what are they hitting themselves? <laughs> Zap, we're going to look at the Jaycaro VOD today. Maybe after this, actually. Okay. This is pretty far forward, but I like what you're doing so far. Just be ready to back up at a moment's notice. Okay. I like your angle. Good fire striking. That's pretty good stuff. Yo, the reflect. Okay. Remember, you do have a shield. Bro, you are playing with fire. Yo, you're in. Oh my god! Oh my god. Nicely done. What's up, Siv? That's a shame. Oh my gosh, the Mercy died for that too. Run. No! Oh, big save. Keeping the Zarya alive is huge here. She has a lot of charge. Yo, good counter charge. Okay. Yeah. So you're actually pretty popping on your Ryan, man. This is actually pretty solid defense. Playing a little deep. You died on the other side of the, of the threshold, basically. Um, unfortunate that the Genji and the Mercy died that far in, but I do think some of the blame belongs on you, Mr. Reinhardt, Matty. If you don't push so deep and swing at them so deep, I, I bet that Mercy and that Genji aren't so inclined to run up on high ground in their spawn. If you don't push deep like that, I bet they don't do that. So be careful. It's Dan Danielle. Oh, it's Danielle, right? Or Danielle? I don't even know how to say that with all those floaty things. Okay, you're going to want to hammer here. Okay, you're holding red box. Okay, okay. You've stabilized. Huge hammer. Oh, what just bumped you? Oh, is it a Zarya right click? That was a big hammer, dude. Nicely done. Well done. I don't know what booped you into the air. I think you jumped at the same time as getting hit from like a right click from a Zarya or something like that. What's up, Kill Kells? You got that Pika? The Pika emote? Alright. I have a holding door up here. Easy way to die. Be very careful up here. Okay. So, Maddie, okay. You're suffering from issues that we've seen in the previous two VODs. You were playing pretty aggressive on the point one defense. You played it really well. You never dropped below 310 HP. You got a lot of, um, you pretty much got a full ult out of it. You didn't waste the charge. Hit big fire strikes, good swings. Good shielding, but your team killed themselves. Um, I think what's going on is that you know how to hold a choke as Reinhardt. You know how to hold a choke, you know how to be aggressive, you know when to go in, you know when to back out. The thing is, dude, uh, in this SR, what is this, 2750? Uh, not everybody in the game on your team is going to understand what you're doing and they're not going to know how to play around you. So be careful with those um, risky maneuvers. Like when you push in and start walking on people and getting kills, your team isn't always going to be there to back you up. They're not going to be there to heal you, they're not going to be there to do damage. Uh, you're thinking up here, your team's playing down here, okay? So you gotta be a little slower, a little slower. And to make sure to bridge that gap, to bring them up to your level, calm. Use voice comms. Tell them who you're going after and why. I think, I think your team needs to shield now. Okay, now they're probably okay. Oh my God, dude, shield. 
Oh, man. Yeah, you have to hammer. Fire strike before you die. Good. Yo, this Moira hates your soul. Yeah. Definitely shield in front of a graph. Yeah, I'll check it out one sec, Maxu. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Maddie. Uh, you are very, very, very clearly, clear as day, absolutely outskilling the enemy tanks. The especially the enemy Reinhardt. You are very much just like obliterating this kid. You're you're destroying like really hard. Um, I would encourage you to instead of pushing forward to flex that advantage. Um, if you want to do that, you should. That's, that's technically the right thing to do. But make sure you communicate it to your team over voice comms. They're not always going to be ready for you. Uh, so just play a little slower. Don't don't walk don't walk the enemy team down in the back line when your team's not ready. Use those voice comms. Let me see. So that's what I hate about 2CP mostly in my game, especially in Plaskaya, that the attacking team uses all ults at once, gets team kill, and then we're just standing in line to get killed. Any tips? What can I do to get the situation? So in 2CP, usually what happens, Maxu, um, the decision for the defensive team, it's usually like, okay, do I dump my ultimate? Do I just get rid of my ultimate and swap to a character that's going to counter the crap that my team is that my team has to deal with? Or do I keep my ultimate, hopefully get my ultimate, and hopefully kill enemies that way? So that's the decision you have to make. Do I save what ultimate I have, hopefully get ult and use it and defend that way? Or do I swap to a character that counters the crap that the enemy team is doing? You have to make that decision, and that's what it comes down to usually. Neither is necessarily wrong, but if you choose to keep the ultimate and, and ride it out, play safe on your second life. Just don't die early. They did Civ. Yeah, I agree with Zap. If they come in dry and they don't use ultimates, don't use yours either. Ultimate economy is insanely important on 2CP. Yeah, dude, you are trashing this Reinhardt. He is not a sneaky turtle. He is a dead turtle. He is turtle stew. Okay, now, now remember again. So literally every time... So, Maddie, if you go back again through this VOD... Every time you overstep your bounds, like the bounds of where you should be holding at the choke, you die. So remember that first point where you approached point one on offense, and you, you got everything, you got the kill at the beginning, and then you got up to point, and then you kind of held there, and you walked forward, and you died. What happened again on point one defense? Walk forward, died, right? So I think you're playing at this level, your team's playing at this level, and you're expecting them to play up here, and kind of... You're taking things for granted that you're doing, and you're you're assuming that your team understands the what you're doing and like why you're doing what you're doing. They don't. They don't. Trust me. Not people. It's really hard to get people on the same page if you don't use voice comms. Okay. Thank you, Siv. Okay. He's coming in from high ground. What the? Dude, this guy came up onto high ground, jumped over you, ate your swing twice, and then went to mid and is like doing nothing. You're trashing this Reinhardt. That's a massive hammer. Okay, here we are again. You're going deep. I guarantee you, your DPS aren't here and your heals can't see you. So whatever you do here, you have to do alone. And if you don't get a kill here, you will lose this fight. I guarantee it. You have to get a kill here. Wow, Mercy came after you. Yeah, you see how far back? Your, your Moira was so far back, she had to ultimate to catch you. Voice comes our hindrance below masters. <laughs> Interesting. What's up, Zeb? Good to see you. Z man, Z master flex. Back here at the choke. Mm. 
You're doing your job, man. You're trying. So, that's kind of what can happen. If you play up with a choke like that, they can throw ultimates over you and hit you, hit your backline without you being able to do too much. But, uh, you took a bad situation and you got a W out of it. You killed the enemy Reinhardt. If you don't kill him there, I guarantee you, your whole team just loses here and the game is just straight up over. But you have an opportunity. <gasps> Are you shitting me? Bro, shield. Okay, there have been a couple moments in this game where it's like, it's like you're running around with 100 HP and you have 1600 shield health. Dude, use your shield in those moments. Like when you're swinging into a grav of four people. Bro, get that swing, sure. But expect them to pour damage onto you really quick. Get that shield going. Get that shield going. Huge props on killing that Reinhardt. That was a big hammer too. I think if you play slow on that point, use your shield to play slow, let your team gather behind you, and then hit the hammer, I think you actually defend there. You're you're pretty you're pretty pretty hard out skilling the enemy Reinhardt. So the Maddie, the big thing I think I want you to ask yourself. Really, really, like, think about it. Think about how many times you throw out a shatter as Reinhardt, and how often does your team completely kill everybody that you shatter? How often? It's probably like one out of every three or four shatters. Probably somewhere in, a, in that ballpark. And that's not because your shatters are bad, but it's, again, it's, you're playing up here and your expectations are up here. This is where your team is playing at, okay? You gotta play a little slower. And use voice comps. Same thing, you want the Mega on the right, and then take high ground. You could walk on them here, but your DPS needs to be with you. Yeah, see how you're kind of out in the open and they can shoot you from every direction? You're making this hard on yourselves. Yeah, it's kind of a coin flip here. Whoever gets kills is whoever gets kills. Good swings on this hog. Nice. Worked out. You walked into them, they fanned out, just like they did on your first attempt, and you approached it slower. The first time you approached it, on the first offense, you walked in really quickly, you dropped to 100 HP, you had to get grenaded to stay alive, and then you walked back and played it slow. Worked out. This one you played slow from the get-go. Worked out. But you want to take that mega room. That's where you want to go. It gives your uh, DPS and support opportunity to take high ground. Okay, you're looking for the hammer here. Wow, he actually charged you. Hammer that, hammer that! No, who won't get up? Curse you! Oh! Oh, that's a great reaction. I think you hammer this. Bro, that would have been such a fat hammer. Yeah, that's true, Marius. Yeah, people don't rotate like that, that's true. Yeah, dude, you hit stupid hammers all the time. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, the double fire strike kill, dude. You're slaying right now. Yep. Nice. Let's play of the game, should be. Yep, clear off point. Just chill here. Don't use grab like that, guys. Only grab like that if it's if it's this close. If it's like a smidge left and you just don't want them to come on. Otherwise, save the grab for actual point. Yeah, dude. You are leading your team into battle. There's some good Reinhardt stuff. Alright, hopefully. Now again, I don't want you overstepping your bounds here and pulling your team into the front line and getting them killed. Ha! I actually kind of want to see, was that Zarya's mistake? I don't think she even got the shift off. I think she used her shift too late and you got anti'd. The Zarya death, man. So that's holding up pretty far. So I will tell you that it's not very advisable as a Reinhardt-Zarya combo to hold this space 
It's not it's not the greatest. Uh, if the enemy team has a Lucio, and in this case they do, all they gotta do, do is just like walk around and then crush you or crush your backline or come this way. And they can just like do whatever they want to you. If you're up this far, you're allowing them a ton of opportunities to do whatever they want. So you gotta play a little further back there. But it depends on their support line. If they've got a Lucio, play back. Don't let them walk over y'all right there. Should he be telling his teammates where to go? Not necessarily. It's more like, like if you watch LH Cloudy, just listen to his shit call, his shot calls, his shit calls, <laughs> his shot calls. He's just like Lucio, Lucio, Lucio. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, let's kill the Ryan. Let's kill the Ryan. Let's kill the Ryan. Okay, let's kill the Zarya. Kill the Zarya. Kill the Zarya. Let's kill the Diva. Let's kill the Hanzo. Let's kill the Hanzo. And he just walks on people. Just walks on people and tells people who to kill. Plays it basically like a monkey, but in Reinhardt form. Good fire strike opportunities here. Okay. So here we go again. Now, the reason why you got crushed, didn't you didn't get crushed, you defended this really well. But the reason why they broke you here on defense, you played up in the doorway, and your team in the back got grabbed and then crushed, and then you died at the front. Be prepared to play a little back here. Because you could get countered again by high ground. Oh yeah, too much, man. Her her bubble lasted way too long, and when it lasts that long, you're gonna you're gonna die. There's just no damage coming in. You got the Genji. That's a shame. It was a long game. Oh, that's a huge counter charge. Yeah, you tried. This is still winnable. Jesus. like two minutes left here okay get this fire strike going i will tell you maddie right about where you're standing right now i don't know the exact pixel it's one of these two places okay guys it's right here or it's right here i've forgotten which it's been some time since i, I put actual some serious thought into reinhardt it's one of these two places if you stand there and charge it's game ending you charge like right in here somewhere your charge ends right here if you do that, your charge will end right here. You can shove people off. You can open up stuff that way, but it really depends on your team comp because if you do that, you can the rest of your team can die. But if you want to be fancy, do some fancy stuff. There you go. Okay. Man, you are playing with fire. You want to take in and take high ground and walk down on top of them. This is a slow burn fight. Get that percentage nice. Back up, back up, back up. Man, you... You are so risky. You do not care if you are low HP. You gotta be a little more careful with that HP. Play like mega risky with that HP. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Play a little slower there. When you hit your front line, I think you understand on some level that you always outpace enemy tanks one on one. You pretty much always do. Um, and because of that, you're naturally inclined to try to make things happen by left clicking and getting in there and hammering and stuff. Dude, your team at this bracket is not ready for that. Gotta play slower. Gotta play slower. Okay, this is looking like number two, man. I'm really glad you guys have a wrap, though. Yo, good damage. Oh, it's up to you, Toaster. Totally up to you. Oh, no, don't take your... No, bro. Yo, 200 HP is not much on a Reinhardt. 200 HP is not much. Yeah, you died with, basically, with Hammer. I think that's the end of the game. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I've got some stuff for you, Maddie. Alright, my man, number one. You're playing up here. 
your 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 mechanics, your game sense, your spacing on Reinhardt. You're playing up here, man. You're you're playing at least mid diamond, high diamond. Your team is not there with you. Your team is not ready for that. Your team is definitely not ready to be up here. They're playing down here. You get you got to step down a bit, slow it down a little bit. Make sure your team knows what you're doing. So number one, play slower on the front line. Stop trying to make things happen. Uh, number two, don't go deep, even though you know it sometimes that you should. The reason being, every time you went deep in this game, you necessarily didn't die. Sometimes you got kills, but your team died every time. They shouldn't, but they're playing here, you know? You're up here, they're here. So you got you got to help them out, help them out. Um, don't jump when you hammer. Uh, I think for you, a couple things that would be really good for you to work on are charges. Work on charging. Uh, you want to look for short range, short range charges, usually lateral, from side to side. If you go deep, it's a very easy way to die, very easy way to kill your entire team. Uh, you want to make sure that your charge is short and that it doesn't put you out of position. And I think that the, that's the last thing that you need to add to your arsenal. I think there were at least at least four or five, six, seven opportunities for charges here that you could have taken, but chose not to use them. Uh, charges is one of Ryan's strongest weapons. And if you can just use it and not put yourself out of position, you become a god. Um, chopstick. Yo, I need one. Hit me up with a whisper right there. I need one from you. Just whisper it. I got you. Thank you for that, man. Uh, okay, so yeah, play slower. Make sure before that you before you want to hammer, please, please, please turn around to see that your team is there. You're expecting them to be there, but they're not always going to be there, dude. Turn around to check to see where your team is straight up. When you're defending a choke before the fight starts, turn around. Where's your team? Uh, when you have ultimate, when you're like 85%, turn around. Where's your team? Is my DPS close enough to follow up? Is my, are my healers here to, to heal me so that I can get a hammer off? Things like that. If you ignore them or, or, or don't keep them in mind, they're, they're going to let you down and you're going to let yourself down. Uh, let's see. Oh, also, um, there was a, a small habit that you want to break as quickly as you possibly can. When you already have ultimate, don't throw fire strikes at people. Throw, the, throw it above their heads so that they waste their resources to protect themselves and you don't give any healers ultimate for no reason. So don't don't try to hit anyone with it unless it's through a bap Baptiste window. Um, yeah, man, you trash this game. You absolutely trashed their front line. You trashed it. You absolutely trashed it. But you got a little ahead of yourself too many times, and it costs you every time. Every time you got ahead of yourself, it costs you every single time. And you might not see it. But that's what's that's what's happening. So play a little slower, get those hammers. Nicely played, but other than that, I don't have too much for you. This bracket is not a challenge for you. I think high diamond may be a challenge for you. Maybe. You're probably like 34 to 37. That's where you should be on your on your Reinhardt. Maybe almost a thousand SR higher than this. You're just going too far forward too soon. Your team's not ready. When you hit like high diamond, low masters, your team will be there and they'll be ready for it. Because they will they themselves will be checking to see whether or not you have ultimate and they will adjust their positions accordingly nicely played dude the sky's the limit for you dude keep going 